why not, right? Phenomenon, phenomenon. What's going on, everybody? Cardock here. So today we are playing Ark. Um, it's been out for a good minute. Uh, I have played it before on the console. So I've got kind of an understanding. I haven't done it before on PC using mouse and WASD, so this will be interesting. But uh, um, I get the basic gist of the game. I understand that there's a few story-driven things. Not really, but kind of. You have to dominate these three massive, like, super creatures or, and collect artifacts and all that other stuff. No idea how long it's going to take me. Um, I never managed to accomplish it on the PCs or on the console, so I guess we'll just see. Uh, we'll just see what happens. I would like to. Cr I would love to crank my XP multiplier, but it's kind of cheating, I guess. Well, I don't know if it's single player. Is it really cheating? Yeah, it's probably cheating. All right, but um, yeah, we'll just start off on the arc and. That's not a good sign. I'm already getting a little bit of a uh, lag. Yeah, I didn't even think to check if my PC could actually handle running this game. Hopefully it's just because it's eating up my RAM right now trying to fucking load in all this stuff. But, let's see. Okay, so we gotta make our guy. Let's see, what are we naming him? Um, just dock works for me. Whoa, I'm like a super skinny neck and like a gigantic fucking head. <laughs> okay. I could probably make an entire video just fucking with this. Oh, I got the birth of him. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Torso height. There we go. Yeah, make him super fucking tall. Obviously, he has to be super fucking tall. Little tiny head. Oh, God. Make it wide and tiny. There we go. Lower face size. Super jaw. Nice. Nice. Yeah, let's uh let's not get too stupid. Wait. <laughs> no jaw. Um hands. Big hands. Stupid long arms. Stupid ripped. Oh my god, that is fucking disgusting. <laughs> There we go. Give him some big forearms, you know. I mean, he's alone on an island. Uh, you can probably tell what he's doing with his spare time. Okay. Make him a little less, you know, creepy looking. Although, wait, super tall. There we go. Okay, so he's like eight feet fucking tall. Cool. Alright, so we've got Doc. He is this gargantuan, like, eight foot tall motherfucker. Well, uh,. He'll be our guy. I can already hear creatures around. That's either a really good or really bad thing. Oh, okay, it's just one of the fucking, like... Jesus Christ, he looks like a fucking tangerine. It's alright. Ah, E. Okay. Yeah, so usually what my first go-to is, is leveling up and getting a hold of some actual, like, decent fucking shit. Okay, that's a...
crouches. Team. No. Uh, what are the fucking controls? I would really love to know the controls of this game. Uh, guess I'll just keep punching trees. How do I access my inventory? I. Uh, what the. F All right then. That's right, give me all that flint. Alright, we're doing better. I have hatchet, give me a roll. Best of all, though, I've got a spear, so now I can... Now I can kill things if I need to, get me a little bit of food. Yeah, I'll chop trees, cut some stone. Uh, I guess I'll show y'all if anything interesting happens. Cool. And my food level's going back up. Alright, got us a fire. Now we're gonna start collecting shit to make our first little bits of house. But yeah, usually what I try to do is I'll start off just making my home, making, you know, giving myself a place to be when it's nighttime and it's cold and all this other shit. And I start expanding from there. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably start venturing out once I've got a full set of clothing and can, like I said, I'm able to feed myself without any problem. Oh, shit. Ah, that was easy. Nice. Alright. Alright, let's see. What have I got as far as craftables? I got door frames, walls, and foundation. Alright. Definitely gonna need more wood. Now, I will go ahead and say, before any incidents happen, back when I originally played this game, the mechanic for your house to burn down wasn't in this game. I don't know if it's been added or not. If I've managed to accidentally burn my house down, please keep the ridicule to a minimum. Thank you. Alright, so far so good. This uh, this game's really reminded me, I mean it's the exact same way as it was on the on the console. Um, you know, the graphics are nothing short of very impressive. The, uh, the actual gameplay itself is pretty fucking fun. It keeps you intrigued. You know, it's a constant, you have to constantly struggle on the surviving part. Um, granted, I don't have the difficulty set very high, but then again, I didn't know how much different this was going to be, so. Um, I don't know if I can go back and crank the difficulty, but if I can, I will. Uh, we'll go ahead and slip it up like one or something. Um, my biggest concern is once I actually get out and start exploring, there's two things I hate fucking running into. First, foremost, fucking raptors. I hate raptors. Now that I have spears, I'm not as worried about the second, but they're still a very, very real threat. Um, compies. Because those little fuckers will swarm you without, like, a moment's hesitation. And that's not fun for me. Alright. So I did want to pop in and point out one really cool mechanic. Um, after looking at the fire for a minute, when I went back to walk, uh, or when I started walking around, I couldn't really see, but now my actual in-game vision has adjusted for the light like it would real life. That's actually a really neat mechanic. Good job, devs. Now let's see what it takes to, oh, I pooped in my own house. Let's see what it takes to make a box. Oh, I can already make one. Cool. Yeah, so I'm going to be making lots of boxes. I, I like having ways to store all my shit. So, let's see here. Put you right in that corner there. 
There we go. And voila. No more lugging around a bunch of heavy shit that I don't necessarily need to be lugging around. Um, don't need that. I can't drop all that skins. Um, all right. Don't need my saddle. It's a lot of extra weight that I didn't fucking need. Hold on to the wood. Put these seeds in here. I imagine eventually I'll start like trying to grow shit, but for the time being, there's really no point. All right, cool. So, wait. So that drops whatever you're holding. Interesting. Right. Really should hurry up and be daytime. Is there any moon or anything I can judge the time it is? Bye. No? Cool. Alright. So we need thatch. Nice. Alright, we have a fully roofed and walled house. Yeah, we're definitely moving up in the world. If you call this little hut moving up. But I like it, so that's all that matters. Alright, let's see here. Dump off this excess shit now. I'm kind of craft first. Um, I don't have near enough bot wood for that, but I can fix that real quick. Alright, so now that we got all this fancy shit with us. Go ahead, drop off some of this weight. Because with any luck, I'm expecting to come back with a few uh I gotta get, eat some food soon. I'm expecting to come back with some dead animals. So yeah. Kinda like to be able to carry all of it. Alright. Onward. We are going to go find us some dodo birds. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, back when I played the, um, the console edition, I got so fucking frustrated one night because I spent like an hour babysitting this dodo egg. Only for when it hatched to get too cold and die immediately. The butt hurt was unreal. And I think that was one of the very last times that I played Ark because I was just like, this is stupid, this game is fucking stupid, it's too fucking difficult, fuck all this shit. Then I realized, you know, hey, you can actually, what the fuck? Okay, so the sharks come a hell of a lot closer to shore now. I know y'all just saw that. Uh, I'm gonna turn down my gamma settings so that I can actually fucking see uh, shake scale no I don't need all that shit um where's my gamma can I just change the brightness seriously I'm actually able to run most of these settings actually pretty fucking high. I'm, I'm okay with that. Huh. Who'd have thunk it? Okay. Well, seeing that I can't at all change the brightness of the game. But yeah, there's a big fucking shark like right offshore. There he goes. He's eating. He's trying to eat one of these stupid turtle things. And what is that? It's a spitter. Spitter. I can I kill a spitter. Two spitters, though. Eh. What are you bitching about? One, two, three of them. Hmm. 
I'm gonna start with this one over here and see if I can work my way down the line. Come on, buddy. Nice. Okay, looks like I'm good. Come on, ugly. Come get some. Nice. This is like way easier than I was expecting it to be. Nice. Fucking loving it. Cause, uh, oh, Parasaur. Oh, I wonder if I can get you stuck against a cliff, because you're a lot of hide. Well, I did get you stuck against a cliff. Yay. Now, don't you run off on me. No! Come back here. Yeah, we go. That's better. Nice. Alright. It's a good starter. I'm not going to get too fucking greedy. We're going to head back to the house now. Cook up this meat. Because that, I know, I just got a fucking shit ton of. Yeah, 22. 22 meat. Nice! Alright. Let's go back over here to the house. Cook up our bounty. I see a dodo bird. Yeah, buddy. Guess who's having some dodo tonight? It's almost too easy. Yeah, so the axe is definitely a lot better for harvesting our animals. Noted. Where's my house? Further up, I'm hoping. What is this? I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of giant bird. I'm gonna not fuck with it. Dodos. That's a nice little cliff over here. This would be really good to build a house on. I think when I upgrade to a wooden structure, I'll, uh, I'll come up here. But for now... I'm just gonna stick to down here, my little thatch. Because my biggest problem with games like this is I get too greedy too fast and I think I'm like the badass after I kill a couple of fucking... Diplos and some uh, some dodos. I'm just like I can take on the world, and then raptors come out of nowhere and wreck me every time without fail. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick around here for a little while. <laughs> and now we have us a bed. Excellent. Because why not, right? I just realized my head clips through the ceiling because I'm so fucking tall. <laughs> nice! Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we got a sort of little bed, we got our house, we got our we got some storage, we got a fire, we got all this stuff going. Um Yeah, uh, I I'm definitely enjoying this. I'm I'm gonna be playing this a lot more. Uh, I don't know if anybody out there does multiplayer or anything, but you know, I'm I'm always in the, I'm always up for uh, consideration of of taking on a collaborative partner on various games. So you know, if any of you guys out there would actually like to join me for one, um, both throw down some videos and have some fun. So um, yeah, that's gonna do it for now. Uh, there'll probably be another video up for this a uh, few days 
a few days from this one. Um, I don't know exactly what my timelines are right now. I'm still, my schedule's still all over the place. You know, there's been some nights where I haven't been able to, there's been like three days in a row that I wasn't able to record or edit anything because I had some stuff going on in my personal life. But, uh, y'all seem to be enjoying how this is going, so. Ugh. Next, um. Next video, we will focus more on getting us a nicer house set up and maybe trying to take on some dinos, some bigger ones. The parasaur was kind of a fluke because I got him stuck against the wall, but you know. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. Helps me out a lot. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already because the content like this is going to keep on coming out. There's going to be more videos on uh, with skits and stuff like that. I know most of my, sub my subscribers came from my Bloody Legend videos. So... Uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot more down the line like that. I had a ton of fun doing them. So, um, yeah. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.